The region's move into the orange tier isn't necessarily translating to more people going back to gyms. It's an issue we're exploring as part of our rebound initiative. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn spoke to one gym owner with her doors and windows wide open. CATCOM is doing all she can to get people back inside Studio Sweat in Rancho Bernardo now that the county is in the orange tier. 25% gets us back to what we would consider a full class and everybody still has these like almost 8 to 10 foot workstations. Calm limits her sessions to 18 people, which, given the size of her studio, means she could fill her classes entirely under the current restrictions. But amid the pandemic, classes typically see attendance of 10 to 14 people. And we're still struggling across the board in the fitness industry to get people back to their healthy place. Calm takes aim at the state easing capacity restrictions for retail and restaurants more so than gyms, saying it creates a chilling effect. County data shows potential exposure at gyms in 0.4% of COVID cases since last June. That percentage grows to 7.1% for bars and restaurants and 9.5% for retail. Plus, a new study from the British Journal of Sports Medicine says exercise was strongly associated with a reduced risk for severe COVID-19 outcomes. I hope this study will change some minds and open up some thinking in our public health officials on to what, what is important and what should we be key, trying to keep open and available. I don't want to make anyone feel pressured to come back. I just want them to know that it is a good idea for them to come back on so many levels. Com says she'll welcome everyone back. No judgment. John Horn, ABC 10 News. The Trade Group of California Fitness Alliance is calling for 75% capacity at gyms in the orange tier. We did reach out to the state health department and are awaiting a response.